so deep, so deep. You got it, girl. You got it. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be recreating the look in this picture. Um, I think I was going out, I was going out to my best friend's dinner that night, so I've been meaning to recreate this look. Really just the hair, not the complete makeup look. It's like it's 6:30 in the morning, y'all. This is the only time I had to film this video, so we're not gonna be doing all that today. <laughs> Detangle your hair in the shower. This is my as I am leave-in conditioner. That's what's in there right now. I just finished detangling it. I'm using my Mia Organics to define my curls. I thought I'd be like, was I recording this whole time? Because I was getting scared for a second. To get started, I'm just gonna take my comb. I'm gonna use this end. And here's where you decide if you wanna do like a middle side. Um, I've been really feeling like this just all the way straight back hair clip or ponytail. But for the sake of the video, I know I had um, a side part, not a side part, I know I had a middle part in the picture. So I'm just going to part it down the middle. I think that's pretty straight. And then I'm just going to take a small chunk of the front section, not too much. It's a small chunk of the front section. It's a small chunk. So yeah, now we have our two front pieces. So I'm just going to detangle this front piece really quickly. And we're gonna kinda, well, this is what I do. I like to get these pieces out of my face while I um, get the back together. We're just gonna get these out of our face. I just use like a bobby pin or something for the moment. All right, so once you have it detangled and everything, let me put this back. Once you have it detangled and everything, it should be really slick. And now I'm just gonna go in with my Eco Styler Gel on the top area. But before I do that, I'm going to wet my ends again just to make sure they're really soaked so that I know the product like defines it. I'm gonna take my Mio Organics and just like a chunk like that. And I'm gonna just focus on the ends, like strictly on the ends. Cause when it's in the claw clip, I want it to be really defined. So yeah, just focus on the ends and put as much as you want up there because when I do these claw clip hairstyles, I want them to last like all day and look defined throughout the whole day. So yeah, just focus on your ends. Once I have my ends taken care of, that's when I'm gonna go in with the Eco Styler. And I'm just gonna go around my whole head. I'm gonna go in with my heart bristle brush and kind of smooth everything out. And then we're gonna get to the hair clip. Some people don't use a hair tie to tie their hair in a ponytail before clipping it. Some people do. I have really thick hair, so I need everything to be like together. So I found me just using a hair tie makes the hair clip come out better. So I put my hair in a ponytail first, and then I kind of twist the rest of the hair in the ponytail up and claw clip it. Put this in a low ponytail. Make sure it's tight enough for you. Because this is still gonna be a part of the ponytail, I would still put a little um, curl defining gel or whatever you use at the ends of your hair so that it doesn't look crazy. And then we're going to gel our top part back with the rest of the hair. This claw clip hairstyle has really been like my go-to this summer. Like it's been hot, humid, y'all. I just haven't been wanting my hair in my face. So like this really comes in handy. And it's making me, making me more confident without my hair being on my face, like, cause my hair is always out. So I think this is just such a cute hairstyle. All right, and then we're gonna slick this back. This takes some practice to be able to do all of this simultaneously because we're gonna slick it back after it's gelled. I either bobby pin or I'll take like the ponytail I just made off and 
retie in a ponytail so that it all stays together. And I think that's what I'm gonna do this time. Once you just slick the middle part down, you can take the ponytail you just did out um, and slick back your top portion. I know you're like, why did you just take it out the ponytail? Da, 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 da. I'm telling you, when you try to like do a middle part and slick it all back at the same time, it just doesn't work. Like it just doesn't work. This makes the ponytail so much slicker and neater. So I just feel that works best. And I've seen other girls do it and it works best for them too. So like, yeah. Like, do you see how slick that is? I'm gonna um, put some more gel right there. So just like I did before, low, it's up to you. Make sure it's tight this time. And because my hair is so thick, I re-wet it again and detangle because when it goes into the hair clip, I want it to go on there perfectly because sometimes if my hair is even like a little dry, it'll like my hair will get thicker, it'll swell and um, it won't go on as nicely. So I just want to make sure everything's out of there. You can use any hair clip, I guess. Use one that you think is gonna fit your hair. Cause I have this big one and it still gives me problems. Like, <laughs> there's like pieces missing from the last time I did it because my hair, it did what I told y'all would do. It was it was kind of dry, so it kind of swole up by the time I put the hair clip in and then my ponytail. Like, it was like, where do you think I'm going? Like, it's it was not trying to hold on to my hair. So, um, actually, I think I'm gonna detangle that part one more time. But um, yeah. So what we're gonna do, so our hair's in a ponytail. You're literally just gonna twist up and place the hair clip back here where you like it to go. So again, we're just gonna twist up and place the hair clip on the back where you like it to go. So kind of like that. And you can kind of let the hair fall. I just let it fall like that. Oh, and then I can't forget the side piece either. Top area right here, or I guess a widow's peak. I don't think I have a widow's peak, but you know what I mean. This top area right here. Then I'm just gonna do my sides really quick. Uh, this came out so cute. Came out just like the picture. Um, it hasn't came out this good in a long time. I feel like I could have did my baby hairs better, but it's still cute. Like the hair was cooperating today. <laughs> came together in the end because it was giving me so many problems <laughs> throughout this video <laughs> that I had to edit out. But um, there you have it. Your claw clip tutorial that I do on my hair. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope you can use this hairstyle this summer or winter, it doesn't matter. But for me, it's gonna be the summer because I need my hair out of my face. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I wanna know, what's your favorite summer hairstyles? Are you even gonna do this one? I don't know, let me know in the comments because I need some more hairstyles myself. Like, I found this one and I just, it's gonna help me by the neck. Like, I don't know. I haven't been able to do anything else. <laughs> But yeah, let me know what your favorite hairstyles are. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that you know when I post my next video. And I'll see y'all next week. <laughs>